third story in the countdown tonight, the fat line between truth and docu-truth. On Sunday, September 10th and Monday, September 11th, ABC television will air what it calls a docudrama, The Path to 9-11. It is, they say, based on the report of the 9-11 Commission, meaning perhaps that both the Commission report and the movie refer to the date, September 11th, 2001. Otherwise, any similarity appears to be coincidental. In a moment, I'll be joined by 9-11 Commissioner Richard Benveniste. While that commission's report parceled out blame to both the current and previous administrations, many who have seen the miniseries, written by a prominent conservative, say it skims over Mr. Bush's culpability and focuses its scorn more firmly, almost entirely, on Mr. Clinton's. More troubling is the fact that to do so, the filmmakers invented not just dialogue, but entire events, repeatedly de depicting the administration as stopping efforts to get Osama bin Laden. One member of the 9-11 Commission, the former co-chair Tom Kane, defends such scenes as, quote, composites. Discussing one such scene, Mr. Kane told reporters, they chose to portray it this way. My memory is that it could have happened any number of ways. Kane is a paid consultant for the miniseries, struck an entirely different tone, helping ABC promote it. The writer and I worked together on the project so that he would share the script with me. And I could look it over from the point of view of the accuracy of the events that he was portraying and where I thought suggestions needed to be made or changes needed to be made, I could do that. And ABC and the writer in particular were very, very sensitive to that. I mean, any time I said that that isn't the way it happened or I don't think it happened that way, uh, they were very, um, very good to make changes that were necessary. Reportedly, ABC distributed copies of the movie for screening purposes to right-wing commentators, but not despite their requests to Clinton administration officials like President Clinton. ABC says it is not meant to be a documentary, and it will air disclaimers to that effect, but even ABC acknowledges that it has the potential to shape how we see 9-11 and the events that led up to it. And tonight, MediaMatters.org has pinpointed ABC teaching materials that go with the movie that not only repeat the Bush line that, quote, the U.S. government believed that Hussein had been developing weapons of mass destruction, but also that, quote, as part of the war on terror, President Bush has led the United States into Afghanistan and Iraq. Joining me tonight, 9-11 Commission member Richard Benveniste, who attended a screening of the movie. Thank you again for your time, sir. Good evening. I'd like to start by playing one of the scenes from Path to 9-11, then getting your reaction to it. Um, the cast of characters is Harvey Keitel portraying the FBI agent John O'Neill, who died in the attacks, Stephen Root as the counter-terror czar Richard Clark, and Donnie Wahlberg as a CIA field agent. And here they are talking about taking out bin Laden. So what's the word? You go back. Keep up the training, the rehearsals, get them sharp and ready. It's not a go. They're worried about political fallout if things go wrong. Legalities, you know the drill. Do they want to get bin Laden or not? I got friends in the field right now who are in danger. Kurt, we're all in danger. The fact is terrorism is perceived by this administration as being a law and order problem, period. If, if that actual conversation did not happen, sir, does it convey at all the thinking of Mr. Clark or the Clinton administration? You know, I don't think so. Uh, the president uh, uh, was the uh, only one prior to 9-11 to launch any kind of attack against bin Laden. And uh, this uh, documentary, as it's purported to be, is supposed to be based on the 9-11 Commission report. And that's why I was critical. This is a free country. People can be creative. They can do what they wish. Uh, but if you say it is based on the 9-11 Commission report, then it should be accurate. And that's where my criticism begins. Um, there are many scenes, including another scene, where it appears that uh, uh, Masood, a tribal leader in Afghanistan, is uh, virtually uh, standing uh, uh, 50 yards away from uh, bin Laden, is prepared to attack him, and then uh, he's called back because the uh, operation is called off. That just didn't happen. We never had anybody on the ground that close to bin Laden who identified where bin Laden was. It was quite clear, as the 9-11 Commission report uh, states, uh, that Clinton authorized the CIA and the American forces to get bin Laden, capture or kill. And this uh, uh, miniseries does not depict it accurately. Is it also fair to say that the, the inaccuracies in the series are not 
random or, to use a phrase, fair or balanced, that they tend to discredit the Clinton counterterror efforts while not fairly portraying any failures that could be attributed to the Bush administration? Well, you know, Keith, I haven't seen uh, the whole series. I've seen the first part, mm -hmm. and my point is not to suggest that it is unbalanced uh, because it unfairly portrays efforts of the Clinton administration, but rather that it is inaccurate. I don't know how it portrays the Bush administration. And if they are inaccurate in their portrayal of the Bush administration, then they should be criticized for that from the standpoint of the 9-11 Commission's report. If this is to be an educational film, which it is purported to be because they're uh, intending to send it out to schools and portray this, as f this material as factual, then it should keep to the facts. And unfortunately, in the material I saw relating to the first part of the program, um, there are errors, uh, there are mischaracterizations, uh, including the uh, portrayal of President Clinton as being so distracted by the Monica Lewinsky uh, affair that he took his eye off the ball in, in connection with his uh, obligations. Uh, to protect us against terrorism. But in fact, the Commission's report comes to the opposite conclusion, mm -hmm. and that is that the Lewinsky affair did not deter him from launching missile attacks at bin Laden's strongholds in Afghanistan and elsewhere. And yet, at the time, Clinton was attacked right. for wag the dog, mm -hmm. for trying to distract away from the Lewinsky affair. And so this is very inaccurate and unfair in that regard. In light, in light of all this, in light of the, the, the bipartisanship which your commission achieved in this, the name of, of uh, co-chair Mr. Kane is stamped on this program. Is that appropriate in your opinion? Tom Kane is a great American and uh, he justly deserves uh, the uh, approbation of the American public for the outstanding job uh, that he did in leading the 9-11 Commission. Uh, his uh, intention, I think, is to uh, provide as much material as often as possible to remind the American public of what needs to be done and that, that the 9-11 Commission uh, recommendations have not yet been implemented five years after 9-11. And there are, we can go chapter and verse into that. Uh, ABC has provided him the opportunity after this program, along with uh, uh, Mr. Hamilton, uh, to discuss uh, that very issue. However, uh, having said that, obviously he's not infallible. And I think these uh, defects in the first part of the show uh, do not uh, accurately portray the conclusions of the 9-11 Commission. An important consideration. 9-11 Commissioner Richard Benveniste, many thanks for your time tonight, Thank sir. Thank you.